And we're learning more about the man police say rammed his car into a barricade at the U.S. Capitol Friday, killing a police officer. His family says that he suffered from depression and repeated head trauma from years of playing football. But we're also learning about his activity on social media. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has the details. This morning, new details about the man accused of ramming into a barricade at the U.S. Capitol Friday, killing one officer and injuring another. Sources tell ABC News investigators are focusing on Facebook posts by the suspect Noah Green and his apparent obsession with the Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. On March 17th, Green posted, I encourage everyone to study revelations, study the signs of end times, study who the beast is. Green's family told the Washington Post he was not a terrorist, but suffered from depression and potential mental illness. Investigators say Green drove his car into a security checkpoint, killing Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans, an 18-year veteran and father of two. Billy died a hero's death, and uh, it wasn't something he was looking for, and we certainly would much rather have him with us. The attack comes less than three months after the January 6th riot that left five people dead, including another Capitol Police officer. This morning, the Capitol Police Union says morale is rapidly approaching crisis levels, and it's warning of a mass exodus. Writing in a statement, in the next three to five years, we have another 500 officers who will be eligible to retire. Many of these officers could put in their retirement papers tomorrow. There are those who made snorty comments about, well, they've got all these police to protect one building. Yep, it is the most important building in America because this is the seat of our democracy. If that building and the people in it don't function, we no longer have democracy. In the meantime, cheers Sunday for the other officer injured in Friday's attack as he left the hospital. Once outside, Officer Ken Shaver stood up and walked to a waiting car. The suspect, Noah Green, died after he was shot by officers. Sources say he recently tried to change his name to Noah Zahim Muhammad, but he failed to show up for a court hearing. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.